That's the good stuff right there. Hey, what's up, everybody? So yeah, um, my buddy Carl and Micah hosted a chain waxing party. I've been interested in um, doing the waxing chain thing for a while, but I just didn't want to go through the whole process on my own. So uh, Carl and Micah and Nicole, and then a couple other friends who weren't there are planning to do a 200 mile ride, a gravel race across Michigan. I think it's in early June. So they were doing some research and decided that the chain waxing thing would be perfect. A wax chain is supposed to give you about 200 miles. They actually waxed a couple to have one, like a backup one at the aid stations when they're doing the ride. So I tagged along, filmed it a little bit, and I'm building up uh, a bike path packing bike. So I'm not done with it yet. And I was getting a new chain. So for me, this was the perfect chance to jump in and try it. There's a number of advantages to a wax chain over traditional lube. And one of the reasons that I thought a couple of the big reasons to me to do it is just a simple cleanliness. You know, I just ripped a derailleur in half out on the road, set my bike to single speed. And you know, when you're done, your hands are all black with the chain grease and grit and dirt. So that idea is kind of cool to me. Um, the fact that you have to apply it less often. So I'm working on another video about washing bikes because it probably won't be what you expect because I'm not the spray it down after every single ride type dude with all kinds of special chemicals and stuff like that. So the idea of its longevity and cleanliness are both appealing to me. Um, like I said, they say about 200 miles depending you know, on the conditions you ride it in. And then also with the longevity, better for the environment type stuff, wax isn't nearly as bad. And then it's also, you're not applying it as much, which could also save you money depending. I think that's probably fairly nominal, but it's something I read online. And then, you know, the other things, you know, friction and noise. So technically it should be a little more efficient and it should be a little quieter with the wax filling and all the gaps. So those are the reasons to try it. Um, so the way we did it is we used an Instapot to melt the wax. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to melt the wax in an instant pot where a crock pot's gonna take you about an hour. You could also melt the wax on the stove top. There's plenty of ways to do it. This is the way we did it. We started off with mineral spirits. So we all had new chains, by the way. So I've never done this with a previously used chain. And so basically took some mason jars, put our chains in the mineral spirits, shook it up for a couple minutes. I think it uh, what we read on the Silka package said two minutes. And then you do, after the mineral spirits, you rinse it with water really good. Then you put it into acetone. So the acetone really cleans it. Do that for a little while, shake it up, all that stuff. And then you don't rinse the acetone. You just let the chain air dry and let that evaporate. It doesn't take very long. So with the Instapot, you use the saute mode is uh, what we read. So it's kind of like a medium heat. Uh, the temperature control is another advantage of the Instapot. So I didn't really time it, like I said, but it is about 10 to 15 minutes. The, we used, when, we're, when you saw us like hanging the chains to dry and all that stuff, and then even for this, we just used old spokes, any kind of bend bendable metal, you know, you could use probably a coat hanger and stuff like that. But before we put it into the wax, you know, we could see how we kind of bent the chain up here to get it, you know, so it all sit a little, whatever, easier into the pot. Once the wax is fully melted, you put it into the wax and you give it a really good shake. Um, you kind of agitate it and you should see a little bit of air bubbles. And once those stop coming up, you know, you have all the air out of the chain and it's ready to go. Uh, you turn off the heat and you know when the wax is about at the melting point because it'll start to form a skin on top. And that's when you want to remove it. And see, a lot of wax on this thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when does Mr. Miyagi show up? I think this is where we might have, I with a multiple chains, because we had a bunch of chains in there. By the time I pulled mine out, uh, a lot more of the wax had stuck to the chain. It was pretty thick. When I brought my bike into Dirty River, our local bike shop, the mechanic Yanda and Otis were both saying, oh, your chain's effed. That's way, way too much. And so I was like, what do you mean? Won't just the excess wear off? Um, in the Silka video we watched, they say you could run your chain around a pipe to get the excess off, or you could just ride it. So to me, the option was going to be just to ride it. And then Otis said, it will take 40 miles to wear all that off. And I mean, this isn't some kind of humble brag, but as much as I ride 40 miles to me isn't a big deal. And then I also figured if it's too much, I could use the pipe message of the pipe method. So um, Yonda said, uh, he's gonna take it home and fix it. I don't know exactly what he means yet and this bike build isn't done. So this is just kind of like how we went about waxing the chains. And so there's gonna have to be a part two with what Yanda told me he thinks needed to be done. Like I said, I just wanted to ride it out, but I'm also gonna check with the others about what their experience was. So this is gonna kind of be a 
to be continued. Uh, I rarely ever ask everyone to subscribe and like on this channel, but you know, it does help out. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe. Um, but yeah, my plan though, after the chain is on the bike is going to be to maintain, to maintain the chain. They sell like a, um, drip lube. So you don't need to pull the chain off and hot wax it again. If you don't want to, you could just, as the wax wears down, you know, you could drip a couple drops of Silka's, uh, is it called super secret? I'll put the name on the screen here. Um, having the bike shop order it for me and that's how you'll maintain it. So you don't need to clean the chain every time you will just wipe it down and put this stuff on there. So pretty interested to see how all that's going to go. Um, have a number of videos kind of coming up with this build. It's a gunner rock tour adventure and some won't be specific to that bike. Like I said, I got some bike washing videos coming up, but also with that bike, I think I'm going to do some bike packing gear selections. Cause that's my plan is to use this as my bike packing rig and maybe, you know, it's going to be a wider tire bike, maybe even a little bit of mountain bikes, mount, mountain bikes, mountain biking. So yeah, uh, I'm doing kind of a unique build different from all my other builds to have something, you know, something different to try out. So yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, all that junk. Um, if you want to support the channel, do have some cool stickers and a bunch of stuff linked in the shop below. And that's it for this basic chain waxing party video. I will see you in the next one.